Hi everyone, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about texting using the Salesforce app. Now you may remember that your clients can always submit requests to you using text messaging from either your storefront or the connected widget on your retailer's website. Just like any other type of request, you'll be able to find these in the My Request tab on your home page. Here, if I were to click into my full inbox and select a text message request, I'll be able to review the content of the request just like any other request that's been submitted to me. However, if I were to select reply at the very bottom, I'll be brought into a brand new or existing texting thread that I have ongoing with that client. Similarly, you can also scroll down on your homepage to view any email or text message conversations that you're currently engaged in. By selecting the text messaging tab, you can review your most recent conversations, click in if you'd like to respond within those threads, or select view all to see your complete text inbox. From here, just like any other texting app, you can select the thread that you'd like to engage in and respond as needed. You can also choose Compose at the very bottom of your screen in order to initiate a brand new text conversation. Here, you can also type in the phone number or select your contact at the very top, compose your messages with the text field at the very bottom, and just like live chat, you've got the blue plus actions menu where you can now insert your storefront link, your account subscription link, or choose to attach a photo from your device or one you take on the spot, assets from the corporate promotional asset library, or products from the product library. You can also quickly initiate a new texting conversation straight from your home page by selecting the actions menu at the bottom. Within that actions menu, you're gonna be choosing compose. And just as we saw previously, you'll now be on the screen where you can enter your contact and begin your conversation. Note that when choosing your contact, some of those listed may have a small phone icon to the far right of their name. This indicates that they've subscribed to receiving your text marketing communications. In other words, they've consented to be included in mass communications that you're sending via the texting feature. When selecting a contact that does not have this icon, you'll only be able to select one contact at a time. However, when selecting a contact that does have the icon, you can then choose up to 39 additional contacts that have also consented to receiving this type of communication. Important to note is that when sending a group text, you'll be creating individual threads with each of the clients that you select. Last but not least, you may be wondering where to find your Salesforce text messaging number. Rest assured that Salesforce will not be using your personal texting number, but rather assigns you one based on your location. Any text message that you send from the Salesforce app is going to be received from that number, and your clients can text that number directly in order to initiate a new conversation with you. To find your assigned Salesforce text messaging number, you can also open up the side menu and select Settings. Here you'll be choosing My Details, and at the very bottom of the My Details page, in the field titled Assigned SMS Number, you'll find your own dedicated Salesforce phone number. Should you want to send this number to your clients, remember that you can also tap on the small copy icon in order to copy it to your device's clipboard. And there you have it. That's all you'll need to know about using the texting feature in the Salesforce app.